Hope you're all doing well today. We are going to be checking out the practice range in BF5. This has just been released in the patch today and I wanted to jump in and give you guys some live first impressions and reactions and just show you exactly what you can do in this thing. So let's get stuck in. We just spawned in here and there's a little sign here. Vehicles shooting and then a globe. Hmm. Okay. So what we're going to do first is go to the shooting trial and it spawns you in with this kit. You don't get to pick your kit straight away but you can change it and we're going to head over here to the shooting trial and we'll see what we have to do. Welcome to the shooting range. Soldiers. Hello. Here, you will be able to try out a variety of weaponry and get a feel for how they handle. Remember, the more practice you have here on the range will only improve your effectiveness on the battlefield. Cool. Right, I've got to get an assault rifle. And there is an STG-44 here. Now show us what you've got. Prepare for the first wave. It will begin on my mark. This guy sounds bloody posh, doesn't he? Okay, there's a wave coming, guys. Get ready for it. Right. I I got to you Only headshots will keep you in this. Cease fire. Looks like we have quite a variety of talent. That's Let's easy. Move on to something a bit grander, shall we? Pick up an LMG. FG42. Prepare for the next wave. I'm so ready. That wants me to go down here. Right. Targets. Talk to me. I don't like the screen shake. It actually throws your aim off a bit. <laughs> well, you well. You're not as green as I expected. I think <laughs> we may have a chance of winning this thing after all. Let's move on to something slightly more refined. Pick up a rifle with a scope. Oh, bloody sniper rifle, is it? Okay. On your toes, soldiers. I'm ready. The next wave is about to begin. Right, where are we going down here? Bit of sniping. Too easy. Not bad, troops. Not bad. Yes. Righty ho, looks like you're ready for a little more of a challenge. Prepare to pop off the enemy as they pop up in various locations. I'm gonna pop them right off, don't worry about that. Let's give me a sten. The next wave will begin shortly. Right, so this one I think you've gotta start moving around a bit more. And the targets jump around. I've not played this before, I was just watching it the other day when they showed it for the first time. Uh, behind me. Up here. Next. Where's that then? Uh, I didn't need to go around there, did I? It's up there, is it? Enough of that. Here's how the next waves will work. When a wave begins, your tickets will begin to count down. For every bob you dispose of, you will score points. Cool. For every headshot, you will score points, as well as gain more tickets. <laughs> Supply depots will resupply your ammo during the rounds. Utilize them when needed. Is that it? Once your tickets run out, you will no longer be able to score any more points and your time in the shooting range will be over. Fair enough. Always try to set a new personal best score in the range. The skills you hone here will pay dividends on the battlefield. 
I don't know if it leads to anything, Ren Herbert just asked in the chat. Maybe an unlock or something. I'm not entirely sure to be honest with you. So this I think is repeating now. So these are the same ones that we just did. And you can obviously get a personal best. I don't even know how many waves there are. Drop your weapons. Make ready for the next wave, soldiers. Right, it's gone back down here now. Let's see what happens. So they're going to spawn now. Oh, there's more. They're popping up everywhere. <laughs> I do not like the way that it shakes, let me tell you. The shake actually knocks your aim off. Even when you're far away from the explosion. That's it. Weapons down. Cool. That was a bit different. Get ready. Another wave will begin soon. No bugger. I don't know where the targets are going to be over there. Did I get a clap then on that? <laughs> Catching up. Lower your weapons. So don't blow your stack. Staying calm is key to getting through this next wave. Search and destroy. Right. I don't know where they're going to spawn. Not behind me. That's an annoying one, isn't it? We'll do one more, then we'll move on to some of the other things that you can do. So I think there are like four different things that you can do. Actually, you know what? Let's do it now. I'm going to let that timer at the top tick down. You see where it says 76, 75. And then we will move on. And I'll show you guys the stuff you can do in the open range, which is like planes and stuff. But yeah, I'm not sure if that gives you a reward or anything. I don't think it does, but it should do, right? Like, it would be cool if coming to the practice range and doing stuff actually unlocks stuff like a skin or something. But as you can see, this is based on the multiplayer map called Hamada. And they've changed some of the geometry and added bits, destroyed bits and they've put these targets in too some ammo stations, you get a little look at this, check this out <laughs> and you can invite three other people to this too so you can play on this with four people in total and turn friendly fire on if you want your final ticket is now spent. Terrible. Right, there we go. We've got a score. What? <laughs> That's weird. It just kills you. What the hell? The deploy point you selected is no longer available. Dice? <laughs> Odd. Right. Um, so that's that bit done. Motor, open range, that's what I want. That's a bit more interesting. Let's check this out. Welcome, soldiers. By now, I hope you feel more comfortable with all the tools available to you. Oh, yes. Here, you will be able to gain more experience and practice at your own pace. Do vehicles. so at your leisure and use any equipment you find in the area. Teleport to home. So I can teleport back there if I want. Driving practice. Got some tanks here. Hmm. So what happens if I get in a tank? 
nothing. Oh, ground vehicle targets down there. I don't think they showed this on the stream the other night. This could be kind of interesting. Or do I just shoot at them? I don't know. It's got some tiger tanks there. Is there nothing we can like, do here? If I get out, let me see if there's a button or something I can press. No. It's literally just some targets that you can shoot at. Okay. Well, that's a bit disappointing, isn't it? Um, shooting practice is down there. So we'll go have a look at that. I'm kind of sad that the things that you shoot aren't actual models of how the soldiers look in the game. Wouldn't that make way more sense if they were, right? Open range. That's the uh, BF1 sentry kit, isn't it? So I can pick a weapon here. So that's giving me access to all the weapons that are currently in the game, I think. Yeah, so if I were to pick um, a sniper rifle of some delineation. I'll get my favourite one. Can change the scope on it as well. Unfortunately, you can't pick gadgets, which is really a shame because I wanted this test range, this practice range, to be a place where I could log on with friends and do some proper myth busting. And it's kind of sad that it's uh, limited like this. So you just mute the target. Can I move it further than that? 50 meters. Go all the way back to 100 meters. Yeah, I do hope that they expand on this because at the moment it feels very empty. Um, could be a lot better than this. And I suppose you just doesn't get destroyed or anything. I think I was hitting it then. Yeah. So, what? It's a bit buggy, that. Shouldn't it, like, knock down or something if you hit it? But you do, you do see the decals. You can kind of see where you hit it, but it doesn't look like it's keeping score or anything here. So I suppose with that you would just practice your long range shooting. Headshots, body shots. So it does keep count at the top. So if you wanted to practice some long range sniping you could put that thing all the way at the back. Unfortunately it's not moving so it's quite easy to do that isn't it? There's not much of a challenge there. Shooting exercises. It's just some sandbags here. Ah, there's the bad company smiley. Look at that. Hint. Wink, wink. Difficulty. Let's get a different gun on here. Uh, this den will be alright just to test this. So I don't know why, but if you want to change the difficulty, you have to do that. I don't know what that does. Does it just spread them out more? I mean, you can just hit fire that, that's so close. And it gives you a streak at the bottom. This reminds me of those old um, flash games that I used to play, <laughs> like the ones that are like based on Counter-Strike. So how does easy make a difference? Are they just closer together? I don't know, to be honest. Tell you what, I'd love to see a new Bad Company game now. That was blatantly a hit, by the way.
Yeah, another problem with this as well, the fact that you can't use the guns that you've got in your company. Obviously, if I'm taking the Sten, I don't know what specializations are on this Sten. So the recoil on it is going to be different to the recoil of my gun in the multiplayer game, right? So if I wanted to practice recoil control, how do I know that that Sten is the same as the one that I've got in my company? I don't know that. So that's another oversight, I think. I wish that you could just spawn in with whatever gear you wanted. Angle practice. What the hell's this? They're just going to appear around me. Right. Spin around. I suppose it's it, it's a good way of uh, dialing in like uh, a mouse sensitivity that you like. But apart from that, I mean, it's not really very engaging, is it? On the surface, at least. Yeah, again, it's just uh, giving you a streak. So really, there's no finality to this, is there? It's a shame. Okay, that's done. You can just change your weapon, change the difficulty. Um, let's go down here to the airplanes. Now, from what I saw on the stream, you get two planes. You get um, the Spitfire and the Stucker, unless they just didn't go through all the options. So, I mean, the Stucker is a bomber type, I suppose, but it's not like a big bomber. So, yeah, that's all you get. You get the Stucker and the, uh, the Spitfire. So, again, this I don't know if this Spitfire is going to be the same as the one that I have in my company. So, you know, it, it, look, I, I know that it is because I can look at the thing on the right there. Like, I've got the upgraded guns and everything. But if you just want to practice flying around, this is something that could be good for people who are new to flying. You know, novice pilots could uh, could use this, I suppose. I love how it sounds when you're in the cockpit like that. Though. So cool. Yeah, it's just a shame that these things don't, like, fire back at you or anything. They all fly in one big group as well. It's not very challenging. I suppose it doesn't have to be if you're a novice. And then it spawns in a new group. Are these going to shoot at me? No? So it just looks like they're flying in... Um, similar pattern to the previous one there and I'm out of ammo so obviously I would have to resupply there but I'm not going to do that I'm going to jump out Whee! Shooting exercise machine practice we've done that what haven't we done we haven't done the um, the vehicle the transport vehicle thing that you ride around everywhere I did see like a little skull as well on the wall somewhere I can't remember where it was it's how you turn on friendly fire a random button there interesting here it is so there's a skull here right you know all the phantom stuff it's all related to skulls and everything um, I don't know if that's related to this, but listen to this sound. Horrifying. I don't like that sound. <laughs> so that's how you turn friendly fire on and off. So if you did have some friends playing with you, I guess that one of you could get in a plane and then spawn another plane and you could do dogfight practice. I'm going to assume that. I guess you could do it with the tanks as well. You could practice some extreme long range sniping, but yeah, like this could be a really cool place to test gadgets and stuff, but you can't 
pick your gadgets. All you get really is is uh, a grenade. Yeah, and this weird thing. And just oh, stick it in your arm. Yeah. Oh, is that a lion? I recognise that asset from somewhere. Where is that from? It's not the one on Siege of Shanghai. Maybe some place in BF1? I'm not sure. What else we got here? I bet there are all sorts of little Easter eggs here. Um, teleport to shooting lanes. Teleport to planes. Teleport to vehicles. Right. So I think that's it for the open range. I just want to see if there's anything more that I can do with the tank here. Because I feel like there wasn't much at all really. It just put up some little targets here. I don't know what that was about. But switch tank type. That's an AA tank. And then a Churchill. Is that another tank type? really confusing I just wish there was like a menu that came up and I could you know like <laughs> change a load of options or something and this should be like a massive sandbox where you've got access to all the vehicles all the weapons all the gadgets and you, you can just spawn them in right from the menu and, and uh, just have fun with your mates I think that would have been so cool but yeah, there's really not much here, is there? And those will just respawn. Like, what a, would have been really cool? So say I'm in this tank right here. Imagine if across the way there, there were tiger tanks just moving from left to right. Moving away from me. Some maybe here moving towards me at longer distances. Then I could actually practice hitting real AI tanks, you know, rather than just this. I mean, that's not very fun or engaging, is it? And then give, give you a score or a time or something. Make it more interesting. You could have AI planes flying around here and you could practice shooting them down with the tank. That would have been way more fun. But, you know, it is a live service and maybe they will add to this. I hope they do anyway. But we're just going to go and do the last thing, which I think is the transport vehicle bit. So we'll head over to that now. I believe it's going to be up here somewhere. I might have to reset though. Yeah, because I'm in the wrong state at the moment. thing isn't there anymore unless it's over here and it's just not highlighted the driving range I'm guessing it's that there yeah it's disabled can I redeploy see if that's a quick way of doing it um no that's just put me back here. Someone in the chat just said that you can shoot down plays with the AA tank. So I'm just going to see if that's true and you can do that. Let's have a look. Is it going to spawn some planes in if I get in this? It did behind me. Okay. Again, I'd love to practice shooting at these with a tank or something because this isn't very difficult like anyone can do this like AA vehicles are very easy to use so this doesn't really offer players who want to practice that much value in my opinion they're not attacking me or anything here they're just flying around okay right I'm done with that Right now, can I use this thing to teleport? Teleport home. Whoa! Like, I want to get out of the open range. 
I'm guessing it's that. You just have to restart it maybe or I just couldn't find the button. <laughs> so weird. Such a weird transition. I feel like the logic of this is all messed up. Right. So the last thing is over here. So I think we've done everything now. Open range. Yeah. So motor trial. Let's have a look. This is the driving range. A land vehicle may be able to turn the tide in a battle. So it is here that you can get a feel for how some drive. Yeah, this is really weird to me as well. I don't know why. Enter a vehicle and proceed to the starting area. Then targets will appear and a countdown will begin. The goal of this exercise is to run over the targets with your vehicle. Cool. Come on, let's do it. As you run over the targets, new targets will appear further down the road and time will be added to the, the countdown. The target's not there. What the hell? There was nothing there. It didn't score me for that either. Here we go. Right, maybe that was just the start. I think it was just the start. Like, this isn't difficult to drive, you know what I mean? And most people use these vehicles to get from point A to point B. They will use them to get across a field to a flag and then just jump out of them. I kind of feel bad running these dudes over, you know? <laughs> They're just little targets. They're kind of cute. But again, imagine that they were real NPC soldiers and they had hilarious ragdolls on or something like that. <laughs> That'd be great. And I don't think this is like keeping track of my score in like a leaderboard or anything. So like with the practice range, the shooting thing that we just did. How awesome would it be if you could check your score in a leaderboard online and see how you were doing against other real people and then compete and maybe, I don't know, whoever was the fastest at the end of the week wins a special dog tag or something like that or a skin. There's really not much incentive, is there, to come back and play this? And I imagine that this will also go on forever, too. Again, not much finality to it. And this isn't particularly fun, either, really, is it? Just driving around, you know transport vehicle where the physics aren't very good. <laughs> oh, going down here now. It's running over backwards. Yeah, I feel like this is just going to carry on going as well until the tickets run out. Cool. So, I believe that for now, that's about it for the practice range. It's a bit of a letdown, to be honest with you. I think it's a big missed opportunity here. And I hope that they really look at improving this and adding a full feature set to it. Because um, at the moment, it's just, it's just not there. I'm not feeling it. Um, it's not very compelling experience to be honest with you the only decent element of it i suppose is if you want to practice your sensitivity just like your hip fire your aim fire and flying around for novices but um yeah that's it Consider that gas tank empty you have no more tickets what a shame time's up it's going to teleport me now sad music And then weird respawn. <laughs> yeah, I, I just want to be able to pick my equipment there. Like, pick my gadgets. Give me infinite ammo. Let me mess around with throwing knives. Like, imagine there's three people there and I can just quickly go... And just bang, bang, bang. And just test it and see, you know, how much damage that does. And if I were to get, like, ten targets in a row, can I get a collateral with certain sniper rifles and myth-busting kind of stuff that people just really enjoy doing you know like and it goes back to like halo three days where you could just make something in forge and mess around with your mates and have a bit of fun but yeah 
it's it's a start, I suppose. We've never had anything like this in Battlefield before. We had the the test range in BF4, which again didn't really have much there, but at least you could use all the weapons there, I think. I think they were all on the tables in front of you. Uh, but there it is. So thanks for watching, guys. Do let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you played this, what are your thoughts on it? You know, what do you like about it? What do you dislike? Let me know down in the comments. And tomorrow, I'll be posting a 4K gameplay walkthrough of the new War Story, The Last Tiger. I played that earlier today. And uh, it's a full unedited playthrough of that with commentary. Real nice graphics and just some first impressions in there. So that will be coming out later. Uh, but yeah, that is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, a dislike if you didn't, and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks again, guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening, what's left of it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.